This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Netflix. The iPhone is coming, the iPhone is finally coming, or at least we think there's a rumor it's finally coming. What's up with all these new HTC phones bound for T-Mobile, starting with the letter R? And did Microsoft can a product manager because he tweeted about an unreleased Windows Phone 7 device from Nokia and only gave it an eight out of 10? Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to the Roundup. My name is Noah Kravitz. I'm editor at large for Techno Buffalo and this is the Rumor Roundup for the week ending today, Friday, September 23rd, 2011. This week's episode of Rumor Roundup is brought to you by the good folks at Netflix. iPhone rumors. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. Don't really have a choice. But we may finally be seeing this year's episode of what's the new iPhone going to look like? When's it going to come out? Be drawing to a close. Reports earlier this week from the Wall Street Journal's All Things D blog finally have a date from a reliable source for the iPhone 5 or whatever it's going to be called launch. Now this is just a rumor, which is why we're talking about it on this show. This show is not called Official Press Invite Roundup, is it? No. It's just a rumor, but we're looking at October 4th for the iPhone reveal, whether it's called iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, we have both models, we have more models than that, I don't know. But we're looking at October 4th as the date when Apple's new CEO, Tim Cook, and his compadres will take to the stage in San Francisco, California to take the wraps off the next generation of Apple's smartphone. Speaking of phone rumors, what's up with not one, but two new phones with code names starting with the letter R supposedly coming from HTC to T-Mobile USA. I guess it's only two, but it makes for, you know, it makes for a nice little thing, right? The R phones, the R brothers, the R sisters. The HTC Ruby and the HTC Radar 4G are said to be coming to T-Mobile USA in the very short term. Now the Ruby is a phone we actually thought, or at least hoped, was going to be unveiled at HTC's press event this past Monday in New York City. Instead, they took the wraps off of the HTC Rhyme Oh, it's another R phone. The HTC Rhyme, a phone for Verizon Wireless that went under the code name Bliss for a while, and uh, you know, it's supposedly a female-friendly phone that features uh, this external charm notifier thing. You can read all about it on Techno Buffalo. But at any rate, the Ruby not released yet, so still in the rumor mill. It's an Android-based phone with a 4.3-inch QHD display. You know, kind of upper-end specs. The whole Shamil Shamil uh, Hudson Boston Incorporated. What was the thing from Laverne and Shirley? Anyway, whatever. Uh, the whole shebang. High-end Android phone said to be coming to T-Mobile USA in the very, very near future. Now we're also seeing photos on the internet, of course, courtesy from of our friend Mr. Blurry Cam. Really, Mr. Blurry Cam should step aside and let his cousin Mr. Steady Cam take over because I'm tired of these like shaky hand leak photos. I want some. You know what? If you've got an awesome new device and you're risking your job or your reputation or whatever to leak it, use a good camera, steady your hands, get a tripod, take a good photo. Anyway, uh, the Radar 4G, a Windows Phone 7 Mango device, also said to be coming in the near term to T-Mobile USA. And uh, some shots of this one showing the boot up screen, showing that it's a 4G device, showing that it also uh, is running and, and apparently will ship with Mango and Tango. Not to be confused with Tango and Cash. Mango and Tango. Tango being the uh, two-way video call system that is going to be unleashed upon the world on the next generation of Windows Phone 7 devices running Mango, uh, because these devices will feature front-facing cameras as well as rear-facing cameras. So, T-Mobile USA customers and fans, keep your eyes peeled for the Ruby and the Radar 4G, whatever they're called when they finally launch, because I don't think that's going to be called. Coming in the next, uh, I would say two to, uh, two to four, two to six weeks. With more than 23 million members, Netflix is the world's largest subscription service instantly streaming TV episodes and movies. Members can instantly watch thousands of titles on a vast array of devices streaming TV episodes and movies, including Sony's PS3, Microsoft Xbox 360 game console, and the Nintendo Wii console. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch as many movies as you like, anytime you like, for one low monthly price. There are no due dates and no late fees. 
For a limited time, as a new member and Techno Buffalo viewer, you can get a free 30-day trial. Just go to netflix.com slash buffalo. That's netflix.com slash B-U-F-F-A-L-O. Be sure to use that URL so they know we sent you. Last but certainly not least, staying in the realm of phone rumors with the letter R involved in them. That was a stretch of a segue, sorry. Who is Joe Marini and why did he lose his job? Joe Marini is, or I should say was, a principal product manager at Microsoft in the Windows Phone division. Why did he lose his job? Well, Microsoft won't confirm the specific reasons, but they have confirmed, according to published reports, that he is no longer with the company. Apparently he resigned, perhaps resigned before he could be fired, over a series of tweets from his personal Twitter account, at Joe Marini. What were the tweets about? The tweets, of course, were about an unreleased cell phone. Apparently, Joe had some things to say about an upcoming Nokia device running Windows Phone 7. And he started out by talking about how great the device was, and then took it down a notch, only giving it an 8 out of 10. First, he said, I just got a chance to try out one of the slickest looking Nokia phones I have ever seen. Soon you will too. Hashtag WP7. Then he was asked to rate the phone on a scale of 1 to 10. He replied, Overall, I would say an 8. Solid feel, good camera, responsive UI, and nice little touches on the body construction. Then he went on, because you know, if you're going to start digging your own grave, may as well keep digging. Then he went on to explain why he gave the phone an 8 and not a 9 or even a 10. Yeah, the camera was good, but I didn't have optimal lighting. I'd like a larger screen, too. So, you're going to leak a tweet about a device that's really, really important to your company. You work for a huge company. You're a product manager on the line that this device is coming out of. It's a big deal. And you start out talking about how it's the slickest thing ever, and then when asked to explain yourself, give it an 8 out of 10, talk about how the screen isn't as big as it should be. Probably not a smart move. Probably why Joe Marine is looking for a new gig now. Good luck, Joe. I hope you find one, and I hope you think twice about your tweets next time. Something that I probably should do, actually. Something we all should do. There you go. Again, the Nokia Windows Phone 7 device is expected to launch at Nokia World in London end of October. Those HTC phones, the Ruby and the Radar, you know, could be any day now. A couple of weeks, probably, for the Ruby. A little bit further out for the Radar. The next iPhone, October 4th. Fingers crossed. Thanks again to our friends at Netflix for sponsoring this week's episode of Rumor Roundup. Thanks to Revision 3 for having us. Thanks to John Quatch for editing this, making my head look nice. And thanks to you all for watching. Until next time, I'm Noah Kravitz, Editor-at-Large for Techno Buffalo. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh Joe Marini, at Joe Marini, Am I going to do that whole segment over? Yeah, I'm going to do the whole segment over. All right, I'm having trouble with this one. Okay. Last but certainly not least,